through lat raises, and this is just a very small sample set of what we can read. And just so you know, I'm not gaming you, how many hammer curls should we do? I'm gonna call on someone over here. Six, all right, so we're gonna do six hammer curls, and we're gonna do some lat raises as well. So how many lat raises should we do between, let's say, five and 10? 10? All right, so we're gonna do six. <laughs> we're gonna do six, and we're gonna do 10, all right? So what she's gonna do is she's gonna fire up, this is a demo application, and she's firing it up, and what we're doing is we're transferring the data right now from the wearable device, which is a pebble, to the phone. And it could be any wearable device. It could be a Microsoft band, it could be the Apple Watch, it could be anything in the Android Wear family. And as she's doing the, the exercise, we're sending the data, and we'll evaluate it when she hits stop at the end. And just like any person at the gym, she might take a walk, she might wipe her brow, she might take a drink. And if any of you have had Fitbits, you know you can shake it and get steps. It's extremely important for our algorithm not only to detect what she's done, but to omit what she shouldn't be counting. And so she'll come back and she'll do the lat raises. And while you're seeing her do these movements with her arms, our algorithm is seeing these beautiful waveforms come through the system. And every single waveform for every activity is unique. It's a little bit like human speech. So what we're doing is we're translating the language of human movement and building deep insights into what those movements mean. So she finishes up and then she hits stop on the application and it says exactly what she did, how many times she did it. Isn't that fantastic? Now, there's one more